good afternoon everyone. Hope you're all doing well, having a good uh, Saturday or a good Sabbath day. Um, I'm out here on the windy back deck, um, which is, is trying to rain. And what I'm doing is I'm painting some eggs. Now these are not your typical eggs that you buy in the grocery store, although I am uh, keeping them in one of the egg containers, but it's just a real light thing you can hear. It's not breaking. These are eggs you can use over and over again, which is why I'm painting them now. Um, I got them a few years ago and thought, well, this would be a neat idea, but I didn't know what to paint them with. Now the problem with these eggs is they are very light. They do not sink in the water. Um, I don't know if you can see this bottom very, color very well. I tried to paint them, but all they did was float. And I'll, I like painting eggs. I still do it every year, even though it was a thing I did when I was a kid, but it's just one of those fun things I just can't let go of. So I like to paint real eggs every year, and when you break the shell to eat your hard-boiled egg, the white, normally white skin is that color that you colored it, and that was always fun to eat those. I remember sharing some with my dad. He took them to work, and his friend, his work friend said, what do you do, rob the Easter Bunny? So I thought that was funny, but he enjoyed eating them too. So what I've done is I've taken some nail polish. I have a collection of nail polish and I don't really paint my fingernails that much and I just, I don't pay attention to my toes that much. In the winter time I'm always wearing socks, my feet are always cold, so I'm using nail polish. Now I've already painted part of this egg. Um, I like to have my fingers there. It's, I get a good hold on it and then I can turn it the way I want to. So this is my first painting and this is called Too Cool for Pool. It's like a blue with like some iridescent pink glitter in it. So it's not getting on you, it's just glitter in the paint. I'm going to try and show you these ones that I've already done um, with their perspective colors with them. This pink is this color workshop nail polish. Um, this yellow, I've had this nail polish for several years, and it was hard to get out and do this yellow one, but I had to have a yellow egg. And of course, I had to have a green, so I got this green. I got it St. Patrick's Day one year, and um, they're sitting in here. The, I've already finished the second painting on those, but because this green is so light, I will probably do another coat. And then this really dark blue, I used um, this nail polish color, um, LA Colors Color Craze. And um, I've had a lot of these for several years, but um, this was just something I, because of quarantine, I guess, I decided to do. And so, the way I do it, I've got my first coat on, so I'm ready to do the bottom. So you want to make sure you shake it up really good. I always hit it against the base of my hand. And um, you don't have to be as careful as when you're trying to paint your nails. You know, your nail is just so, so, only so big. But this egg is quite a... It's about average size. So you can get a good glop on there if you want. And then just start painting it real good. Just like that. And just I, I dip it in and out of the little can, little jar, because um, I don't want to waste any. Uh, some videos may show you people pouring them out um, on a little bowl or plate. And then you just paint from there. But... I don't have endless resources and I I don't want to waste it. And this is a really pretty color. I wanted a light blue. It's just kind of an iridescent purple, um, well an iridescent pink in it. <laughs> kind of like the color of my car. Which I like very much by the way. I like the color of it. So, um, and I have to do this outside because I did it inside the house the other day and Hubby said it stunk for a couple of days, and it did. See, I've got a bit of a drip there, but it doesn't matter. 
as I just gonna work it out here. And um, since we're in this quarantine, I thought I would do something fun and do this. And I took some Easter pictures a couple days after Easter. I couldn't do it Easter day because it was raining and then the night we had some storms. So I'm just gonna paint this up, try and make it look nice. Um, I don't want it too thick right now because this is just, well I'm calling it my second coat but it's my first coat um, for this part. And then when I'm done with it I just uh, I'm trying to get this so you can see it and uh, I'm just gonna set it carefully right here at the end so it can dry you can see it right there so um that's my that's my little uh, craft tip and that's what I am doing so this is real time real life and then um, what I did as you can see I um, I put the colors uh, near the egg near the eggs if you can see this so you can see um, the wide shot here <laughs> so you can see um, that this pink goes with this egg and you know the blues and all that so um, this is what I did <laughs> now there's a lot of craft stuff you can find on the internet some is um, some is right, some is crap. It just looks fun. Like, who really carries a super glue in their purse? Or tape? Or needle and thread to fix that rip in your shirt or whatever you've got? So, some of those, they're fun to watch. They're interesting. It's an interesting idea. I suppose if you were at home, of course, if you're at home, you'd do it differently. So, this is what I've been doing. And also, another of my projects has been my plants. This is our little deck here, and these are my plants. I have been working on, this is supposed to be large cherry, and they're going to be some little plants. Now this is something I have done that I saw on the internet that you can do, is plant the seed. They said a lemon seed. I did big boy hybrid seeds in here. So I have been taking care of some plants. So I just wanted to show you what um, other people, what you can do um, with some craft projects. So I hope you're all having a good day and I hope you enjoy my channel. I'll try and put something nice up there and I'll read another story. It's getting dark and starting to rain now so I'll probably go inside now that I finish my eggs. Thank you and I hope you're having a wonderful day and stay safe and healthy. Bye.